Hello. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's uh, it's November here, and I just stepped out to the studio to uh, as I'm making this video. It's November, and I just stepped out to the studio to uh, uh, do some lesson videos, and it's pretty cold out. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to just kind of go ahead and talk a little about best practices on warming up your hands and uh, getting your muscles moving uh, as you go into a gig or a practice session or something like that, especially when it's cold out. So the bottom line is um, people don't really look at it this way, but at the end of the day, um, as a musician, especially a practicing and a working musician, um, the muscles in your hands and in your tendons are very similar to that of what an athlete would be going through. I mean, you're working hard on this stuff every day, you're constantly pushing yourself. Um, the possibility of injury is high, and uh, a lot of people do end up having some hand problems and sometimes even career-ending injuries, and a lot of that can really be prevented with just a few simple moves. Um, I kind of learned this the hard way when I was much younger. I, uh, I had real bad swollen tendonitis and all this kind of stuff, and um, you know, I ended up working my way through it, and now I've gotten to a point where I kind of have a little bit of a routine it does fluctuate a little bit, um, but I just thought I'd kind of go over a few, um, a few of these moves with you guys to maybe help some people out. So the first thing uh, that I like to do uh, before I go into a gig or a practice session or anything like that is um, I like to just kind of get what's called the synovial fluids in the joints of my hands moving. Uh, so that's kind of a strange term, but basically it's something your body creates to lubricate your joints up. Um, so, and basically how you get it moving is you just move your joints around quite a bit. Um, so what I like to do is we're going to focus on the joints here and here on our knuckles, right? So I do this with both hands. I just hold my hands up and I just kind of slowly make a fist. And I do this five or six times. You know, you don't have to do it real fast, just kind of nice and slow and just kind of stretching them out. And as you get a little more warmed up after five or six of those real nice bends, then you can actually start to kind of stretch out the fingers a little bit. Just stretch them out, reach up with each finger individually, and make sure you're breathing as you do this because that's important. And then bring them back down, right? So that's gonna kind of help get the synovial fluids going. And the next thing is you wanna get it going in your wrists as well. So a good way to do that is actually just make little fists with your, with your hands and then just kind of rotate rotate your hand right here you're rotating your wrist and we're gonna go in each direction again same deal we're gonna do it four or five times in each direction and you can kind of go at whatever pace is comfortable for you you know whatever feels good do a little more stretch in here just kind of start to get the hands warmed up one other thing to keep in mind too is actual physical warmth is good on the hand so if you are going into a gig or a practice session, um, even if it is the middle of summer, you still want to make sure that the muscles are actually warm. So, you know, just a little bit of kind of rubbing the hands together can be real helpful. Um, and the next thing that I like to do is actually a stretch here. Um, so it kind of looks almost like you're like you're praying, uh, but what you do here is basically you're going to spread your fingers out wide like this, and then put each fingertip together. You're going to start up high and you're gonna kinda of go into this sort of praying looking pose. Now I have a little bit of space in between my hands there and I just kinda of push it down and I kinda of roll forward and then roll back and kinda of stretch each finger just a little bit. Okay, you can actually feel the tendons kinda of stretching just a little bit. Now you don't wanna push it too hard. You know, make sure that you're uh, being aware of how your hands are feeling, what's happening in there. Just kinda of hold that for 30 seconds to a minute or something. And you can kind of intensify it by pushing pushing in a little bit or pushing down, whatever's good with you. And I like to kind of roll my hands around like this after that. Again, just getting that synovial fluid going, loosening up the fingers. Sounds like we're in a yoga session. And that's kind of what it is. Now the next move that I like to do is uh, we're going to actually do a stretch here. Uh, I'm a big proponent of supported stretches. Um, so just like stretching any muscle, uh, when it's supported, you're gonna be able to get a healthier stretch out of it. Um, so what I like to do, uh, the guitar actually makes a nice desk when you flop it down, if you guys can see that. So I like to lay my forearm flat right here, 
and then I like to kind of just pull down on the muscles there. So now I'm supporting right here, and then I'm pulling forward this way. So you'll see a lot of people actually do this number with no support there, and there is some benefit to that, but it can actually be harmful as well. It's a good way to overstretch. So if you're going to do that kind of stretch, which I normally do and I do recommend it, um, try to get yourself some support. You could put your hand on your knee if you're in a car or on a way to a gig or whatever, and then just pull down on the whole hand just for, just for 30 seconds or something, and then do each finger individually. All right, so I'm pulling each one of my fingers back just a little bit, just to kind of stretch that tendon just a little more. And then I do it the other way. I actually turn my hand this way and do this way as well. Kind of do that with both hands. Now I've already done a little bit of warming up, so I'm not going to do my other hand right now, uh, but I will move on to the next kind of step here. The next thing I like to do when I actually get the guitar out, um, you know, it's nice to play a few chords, something real simple. I usually will just kind of go through a major scale harmonized, you know, uh, uh, it's a nice way to make sure your guitar is in tune too. You know, I'll, I'll just play like, for this case, I'm going to do like a G major 7, I'm going to do like an A minor, B minor, and C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished back to our G major 7. So I just kind of go through those chords a little bit. Um, I like to do a little bit of right hand warming up as well. Just kind of some palm muting scratches. If you have a metronome, it's good to use that. Just for maybe, maybe a minute or something, kind of get the right hand moving. Then the next thing I like to do is, I'm sure you've seen this, it's like the most classic uh, chromatic warm up exercise that guitar players use. Basically, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, alternate picking um, on each fret. So first finger on string six, fret one, second finger on string six, fret two, uh, third finger, fret three, and so on, right? So that's down, up, down, up. Um, and then you go up to the next string, so just nice and slow. And then what I like to do is I like to actually go up a fret. Uh, before I descend so and when you're doing this it's a good practice to try to pay attention to how close your fingers are to the strings economy is a big deal when you're playing guitar so this is a good way to practice that um, just kind of what try to focus on keeping your fingers as close to the strings as possible so there's less movement it's hard to play a talk at the same time so bear with me <laughs> right just kind of go up a little bit. You don't have to go real fast or anything. Again, if you if you have a metronome, that's a good practice. Just kind of go up and down. I usually go up to fret 5 or 12, depending on how I'm feeling and how cold it is. And then back down, you know. Right, so then you kind of get your hands a little. Now you're starting to feel a little more warmed up. There's one more exercise that I'd like to show you guys. This one's a little bit stretchy. It's a little bit more advanced. And if this is too much for you, don't do it. Because the last thing you want to do is do something that's hard for you and actually hurt your hands. Um, but this is something I do almost every day. Anytime I need to warm up, I definitely do this. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it, it. The first voice, it looks like a, like a major seven voicing um, uh, with the root in the fourth string. So I have my fourth finger on string four. This is an F sharp major seven. On string four, on fret four. And my third finger is on string three, fret three. Second finger, string two, fret two. First finger, string one, fret one. And I'm going to play that chord. Nice sounding major seven chord. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my third, second, and first fingers exactly where they are. But I'm going to move my pinky finger up one fret. So hopefully give you guys a little closer look on that. So then I play that down. And then I'm going to move my third finger up one fret, but still leave my second and first fingers in the same place. So now, just so we're all clear, my fourth finger is on uh, fret five, string four. My third finger is on string three, fret four. And my second finger is on fret two, string two. And my first finger is on fret one, string one. Now I'm going to move my second finger up to fret three. And then my first finger. So each finger kind of walks up a half step as you go. 
right? And you just kind of go up chromatically with this. It doesn't really sound good, but that's not really the point, right? It's more of a, more of just kind of a stretching your fingers out a little bit, kind of getting things warmed up. You know, and you could kind of go as far as you want, but the most important thing with this is don't overstretch and don't hurt yourself, you know? I usually will go up to fret 10 or 12. I'm on nine now and I'm gonna go ahead and descend. So on the way down, it's basically the opposite. I play that major seven chord, then my first finger slides down. Then my second finger, third finger. And you can kind of start to go faster as you feel more comfortable with it. You know, just to kind of loosen your hands up a little bit. And then by this point, you're probably starting to feel pretty pretty warmed up and you, then from there you can do a few arpeggios and scales and get on with your practice session. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have more questions about this kind of stuff or if you've had any hand problems and you're looking for a way to ease back into practicing without hurting yourself more, um, I'd be happy to help. You can reach me at uh, thomasonmusic.contact at gmail.com or you can reach out on the Facebook page or the YouTube or wherever you're seeing this video. Thanks so much. Have a great day.